What is good lifting form? Uh, this is one that people vastly overcomplicate. They, they make it way more complicated than what it needs to be, in my experience. Uh, and good form really is relative. It, it depends on what your objectives are in the gym. So if you're a power lifter, good form is what it takes to get the weight from point A to point B in the most efficient manner possible. That is completely different than bodybuilding. Uh, bodybuilding, uh, good form is what stimulates the most hypertrophy. And a lot of times that's the exact opposite of what you do in strength uh, uh, lifting, in powerlifting or anything like that, powerlifting, Olympic lifting. In bodybuilding, a lot of times we want to make the weight more difficult, not less difficult, and therefore we're not looking for the most advantage in leverage. So form is completely different in that situation. Um, I, I, see, I generally see two camps of people in the gym when it comes to form, and I, to be honest with you, neither one of them seem to understand that concept and are doing it correctly. I see the guys that are just trying to get the weight up at all costs possible and put up as much weight as they possibly can. Shitty ass, sloppy form, bouncing, you know, all over the fucking place. Um, that's camp A. I say camp B are the form Nazis, the people who are trying to perfect and make it look pretty. You know, a lot of times good form doesn't have to be pretty or it isn't pretty. Uh, you know, no, you know I, I give you the example of Jay Cutler, former Mr. Olympia. A lot of people criticize his form and uh, say his form is sloppy. But when I watch Jay Cutler, the way he does exercises, he prioritizes the part of the movement that puts the most stimulus on the muscle. And he's keeping continuous tension on the muscle, which we know from research is the most important thing for hypertrophy. It's time under tension. Um, you know, so people are wrong about Jay Cutler's form. Uh, Ronnie Coleman being the exception. Ronnie Coleman was just a freak of nature. So, you know, don't even compare yourself to Ronnie Coleman. So for bodybuilding, for me, form. First and foremost, it's got to, you got to feel it in the muscle. If you're not feeling it in the muscle, if you're not getting a pump, if you're not getting sore in that area, you're not feeling it, you're feeling it in another muscle, your form is not right. Or maybe that exercise just doesn't fit your body. Uh, no, that's number one for me. Number two, when, I, when, I, um, when I'm choosing an exercise for bodybuilding, and this is another one where people completely fuck up. If I feel joint or connective tissue pain with the form that I'm using or in an exercise that I'm feeling, I, I'm gonna try to change up the form to prevent that. And if I can't do it without joint or connective tissue pain, or if I'm causing myself to have tendonitis, I'm not using that exercise. There is no point. Um, if, if you get to the point where you're, let's say, uh, uh, for me, it's I, I've tried and tried and tried again to use skull crushers. I know skull crushers are supposedly great for your triceps, but... My elbow just, I get horrible tendonitis in my elbows when I, when I do, um, skull crushers. And I, and it doesn't matter what I do with my form. I cannot correct that. It, there's something physiologically wrong where I, I just cannot do skull crushers without tendonitis. So, you know what? I don't do skull crushers. Stay away from the things that hurt you. There's a difference. Now, there's a difference between muscle pain and joint connective tissue pain. Um, and if you're not growing from an exercise, it's probably not, not worth using. So I, I, I found a lot of times, uh, also free weights give you more range of motion. Um, that is also important. I don't see people use full range of motion or they use the incorrect range of motion. Uh, another example would be dudes I see at the gym doing shoulder presses with dumbbells and they're only doing the top third of the motion. That top third of the motion is only working your triceps. It's like 80% tricep, 20% front delt. Um, you know, so you want to probably work through the 
bottom third to two thirds of the motion to get the most emphasis on your, your deltoid. You can get too low and, and cause problems there too. So just another thing to consider as well. Anyway, good form for me for bodybuilding. I'm going to rehash this again. Uh, first and foremost, are you feeling it in the muscle? Is it stimulating the muscle you're trying to work? Number two, it's not causing joint and connective tissue pain. It's that simple. If, if you're, if you're accomplishing both, then you have good form. Hope this helps.